If you've got a pest control and they come out and they just want to put poison down, just get rid of them, man. And look at this beast. Look what I spotted over there, Rick. <laughs> look, you can see I'm nervous of going over to it because I'm shaking. It's a huge, it's a monster. Are you in this situation yet where you can't stand to sleep in your own bedroom anymore? Uh, Stephen and his wife. You've got to that point of it now, haven't you? Uh, Today, this is our first job back after the Christmas break. Me and Ricky have been away for six weeks each. And I'll explain all about that at some point in this video, probably. But we're here with Stephen. I spoke to Stephen all the way back in December the 13th, and it's now it's the first day of February. We're really getting booked up in, in advance now. But we'll explain all about that and how, if you want our services, how to get in touch with us in a little while. Stephen, tell us about what's been going on. It's four to five years, is it, this one? Yeah, about four years, I think, trying to remember back. Um, since we've had rats, we've always had them in lofts, sort of here and just going around. We had uh, two, three different pest companies out. Okay. The first one was a typical big gin pest company that turned up, got some poison down, went away, to be back in a year. Okay. Um, that got rid of them. That was fine. Then months later the problem started again, again yeah. uh, get a different company out they came same thing just put poison down everywhere yeah sort of prompted them says like should we have a look maybe see where they're getting in the property like yeah, identify yeah. root goes yeah walked around had a look around, King, had a look around. Looked, uh, looked at your air bricks yeah that, that, that's thing. about it mentioned that nine times out of ten they come in through the drains yeah so anything we can do about that so you can get a one way valve. A rat flap. Yeah, a rat flap. Yeah, flat. yeah. Um, so we've had that done, so there should be a rat flap okay. fitted. We'll have a look um, at that, yeah. Grand. Problem went away, thought we cracked it. And then, you know, 10, 11, 12 months later, in winter arrived. Okay. And we got them back. And then it's been the same things, like every winter, we effectively get them. Um, we get them back. Do, have you had any like horrible smells and flies and all that? Yes. Because of the uh, rodent aside? Yeah, so the first, first, first two times it was fine. Second, third time, they've died somewhere, somewhere in a wall, and we have horrendous flies, and it fucking stinks. Yeah, 100%. Um, we just had it now, so the back bedroom we just moved, we moved out of the back, back bedroom because there's poison down that we can't actually get into. I'll show you when we go upstairs. I put so I got the traps off you guys. I put the traps down. I haven't got right. anything. The poison obviously got first. Okay, died. Stench this is why we always use traps. <laughs> One of the many reasons, but there's lots of reasons. It's like, it wasn't that bad this time. It's actually subsided very quickly. <laughs> so but the flies will be coming soon. Previously, yeah. it, did, it took like three or four months. You know, yeah, because yeah, what, what usually spell. happens is... So but you've got no idea where they are to get to them. Exactly. Right? Like, it's in a cavity wall somewhere or under the floor. And what will find them is flies. So it's not like on a warm day like today. I say warm day, it's about 10, 12 degrees. But flies will be active in this. So, and they can smell a dead rat from even before it even smells to us. You know, you could literally smell a dead rat, but a fly will find that. But as soon as they do, they lay the eggs on there, then the maggots eat the meat off the bone, basically. And then miraculously, people think, oh, that weird smell's gone. And then, you get and then three weeks later, all the flies appear, and it's just awful, isn't it? It's awful. So always try to do it with traps if you can. Uh, as you know, we're sticklers for traps if you need to use them. But we're going to do this and we're going to show you how we do it and we ain't going to trap anything we ain't going to kill any rats but we're going to get rid of Stephen's rats it might take us a day to do it and it might take four weeks before the rats have gone but they will go and it's a guaranteed job basically what's happening Stephen was saying is there's a cherry tree and they see the rats coming out of this big old wall here they go across to the cherries pick the cherries and go back into the wall there's also been rodenticide used so basically this is how i always try to explain it to people when people do the video call with us this is always a really strong point of it. it's something to do with the drainage and the sewers somewhere because if there was a family of rats living in that wall or underneath all their bushes and there's a family of 200 rats right well well what will happen is rats once the alpha males and females start eating whatever it is whether it's poison or any kind of food once the alpha males and females just decide that's what they're going to eat that's all they'll eat until there's no more poison or there's no more rats so if you keep on rebaiting which is what Stephen did and you did correctly if you're going to use rodenticide use enough 
okay it's very important to use enough and steve has been doing that where are these rats coming from so they would have carried on carried on until there was no more rats unless there's a population which is absolutely huge which ain't going to be in that wall but it's going to be coming from a broken sewer because the population in the main sewer system is huge and it's unstoppable and this is why even when you get them in your house in fact it's quite interesting because this is a also the area where you hear them the most did you say yeah so you're he hearing the rats a lot here you've got the activity in that wall there we'll have a look at the uh on google earth now we've got a little uh, shot of the houses at the back because didn't you say to me it's all coming back to me now there's a very old house at the back so this, this is 1800 this is the old house okay yeah and that house wasn't originally there that one up there, look the guy that owned this house split the garden and two yeah and then built that house ah. and then next door neighbors up that way that is another, another old house that's quite a way up that way um, but this garden was split in two and then that house was built i did funnily enough before you arrived i went through and found all the old paperwork for the house okay yeah so all the you know searches for the sewer system and stuff uh, there is a sewer line that runs Cuts sort of through the garden about halfway there. Interesting. Uh, I don't know if that is anything <laughs> to do with it because, as far as I, I don't, we don't connect to that. that. It goes down there into there's a little path at the side, like, like a little snicket, and then yeah. it runs straight down there to the main sewer. Our sewerage goes to that manhole cover and then presumably onto the main okay. sewer. Yeah, yeah. But there is, there is that, and what I did spot, so I don't know if it's so we had a guy come out to do a drain survey a year ago. So we had a look at in here, but there is a, there's like an access, there's a drain and an access hole just up there beneath awesome. the pond. Yeah. Which he said, I should just a soak away sort of thing. Okay. I, I don't know if that is a soak away or if we'll it find out. connects to anything. Because quite often, you, you, people watching this, they'll know, same as when you watch our videos, it's like, ah, this is all ringing a bell. And this is like a prime example. People have already had two or three drain surveys sometimes when they come to us. It's always kind of a similar story. It's always a similar story. And this is going to be, it's going to be an interesting one, I think, because it's kind of complicated because of the age of the buildings, the new building up the back, that big old wall there. But the fact that that big old wall touches this little extension bit that's been added on at some point, and this is where you hear the rats, kind of all... It's all connected and it's probably building the picture up for you guys watching this thinking ah that's yeah that rings a bell we've done that we've done that that's happened to us we've had a dead rat blah 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 you know and it's like it's like with the dead rat thing as well quite often people will, the, the problem will go away but there'll be no smelly dead rat and it's always like well where did it die yeah it's, got it's, it's, got, it's gone into the sewer usually you know usually we'll we'll turn up at people's houses and every air brick has got a cover on it there's expanding foam sticking yeah, out yeah. holes everywhere and it's like because you've already gone through this route you don't want to employ anyone to come and do this for you you know you don't want to spend this money but these people aren't on their own are they at the end of the day it's, it's, it's i think i said the thought like we did the drain survey they highlighted some bits and then wanted a fair amount of money to mm -hmm. do some some extra bits some extra bits or some other one was some sort of pit here okay we weren't sure why there was a is it up here there's like a you could see a little bit of gravel wasn't sure but there is you know there's a there's a Run, gully, gully there oh, okay uh, rain gully but it all the rain comes off and it does make all the gravel and stuff gets washed down so mm -hmm. i'm not convinced that's anything but they wanted to you know charge extortionate fee for putting their fee in there's a there is a hidden manor cover okay in there yeah that they wanted to excavate okay and we did find so there's a saw so behind this unit there's a saw vent pipe that was hidden oh in here yeah and this piece is oh so this would have been yeah. the original back of the house that and would have been the back of yes, the house yes exactly and this, this is, is an extension. extension and they wanted to put some lining in to block it off and some you know, okay. again huge fee yeah uh, so they thought we'll just we'll block it off and see if they come back and then we know if it is or yeah. isn't right. yeah, so that's, yeah. that has been sort of crudely Oh, so it's actually... That's crudely, crudely capped off. Okay, that could be handy though, couldn't it? If we can well, that was, that was going up into the ceiling and there was nothing on it. Oh, right, you know, so that was just no, open. Yeah, so no, it went up inside there was that no, no cap on it. I did that nice, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah right, jump on that. So, that. so we capped that off thinking, like, it looks quite hopeful that, that that's it. Yeah. it solved, solved the problem. Like, they won't, you know, if they don't come back, then we'll get, so, get it sorted out properly. But, you know, that, that's not the way they've been getting in. Yeah. But a little waft of dead rat there from somewhere. 
probably up in this ceiling. I'll show you where we see them. Okay. And, and where was that opened out into then? Just just into just, that? just into the, into ah, the right. ceiling void. So for us, it was like a well, that's, that's it. It's definitely that. Yeah. Uh, but it's not. Yeah. Uh, I th I think they you kind of needed well, there, but they're going I, the well, opposite way. So 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 there's generally. Stephen, it, it's a good job. We've had six weeks off, Rick, isn't it? <laughs> it's going to it's going to be fun. <laughs> this is. This is going to be a fun one. Oh, well, jump back into the deep end. Well, so there, it, it, there's loads of things that we could try. Mm -hmm. yeah, we could do them all, but yeah. it's going to be horrendously expensive and we might yeah. not fix the problem. So it's, it's let's, you, let's, you know, some data driven, where, the, where's, the, exactly. where's the source? What's, and, what's and the, the, most ve the very worst thing that we're going to discover today is that it's something that needs to be fixed that's not covered by a rat free lifetime guarantee but at least you'll know what the yeah, problem is fine because, because that's what can, drives people yeah. crazy that's what gets to people it drives people i could have a digger pit do that I mean, we were probably them, exactly. you know, got rid and soffits redone yeah. and is that yeah. Yeah, none of that yeah and, and that's exactly what happens is because there's, there's companies out there and they don't really know what the answer is and it's kind of um i was likely to a, a, a monkey with a machine gun you know, it's just like, da, 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 and sooner or later you're going to hit the thing. But the thing is, on an old building like this, you could you could be doing that for years, years and years and years. Yeah. And you kind of already been kind of did going down that yeah. road. I mean, it's like 1860s, this 1860s, 1980s for the extension. So, yeah. Good old 1980s. Build it up, build it fast, get the money. Bish bash bosh, they loads of dodge. I mean, loads of money. <laughs> Oh, those, uh, just what I'm thinking about. I can see there's like tracks in the, in the uh, outside. Is that where the rats have been going back and forth? Uh, do you think? I'm not sure. I, I did see that and wondered, but there is also a dog. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, <laughs> could be the dog. Could be the dog. Because that might be the tracks. Because rats basically will always use exactly the same route. Once they've worked out that nothing at them, uh, when they went down the route, they'll just keep following that and all their offspring will do exactly the same. So you tend to get these bald patches in your lawn because the rats that's exactly where they go each time we might be the dog as well could be could be either so there's somewhere underneath here there's another manhole as well so there's a man manhole cover is there okay in there somewhere because it comes up from there then the junction to that gotcha. and then that way yeah straight to that that room and then under here is um gully oh where right the kitchen pipes feed into okay and that's underneath the floor that's as well? That's underneath the floor here. Because oh, well, yeah. we had the floor up and spotted it. Ah. And the, but then you covered it over again. Well, the builders <laughs> could have put a proper... Oh, can we can get access to that? No, you can't oh. get access to it, but they concreted over, put a slab in, etc. So I don't think it is that. I mean, there is an outside chance. Yeah. Um, I look, because like, the pipes come through, obviously, the wall, like a normal external Yeah, wall. you know what happens but a lot of the time. It was all cemented in. So what, the builders, what the builders don't kind of understand is that they own like a foot long rat, just its body, you can get through a hole as big as your thumb, 13 mil. So if you sort of put a slab on something, they just think, oh, that's fine, put some compound around it. But if that slab's sat like that, well, the rats can just get out and underneath. And, but I think it's more to do over in that corner. Yeah, that's, that's where we get the activity. We've had nothing, nothing downstairs, nothing in this side of the house or the yeah. garage. It's just, it's always. Always outside. I'll Let's show go you upstairs. Um, yeah, yeah. Shall we go? Shall we see upstairs as well? Yeah, Let's I'll, do show that. You, I'll show you that in a bit. I'm upstairs. Are you in this situation yet, where you can't stand to sleep in your own bedroom anymore? Uh, Stephen and his wife. You've got to that point of it now, haven't you? The stench keeps coming back, and it's the noise, isn't it? Well, I think I think the noises are worse than the the actual smell of it. I, I, I did. It's a close. It's a close one. It's that horrible feeling as well, isn't it? Where every time you think that you've got rid of them, all of a sudden it's the eight month, nine month gap where you sign. And you think you think right, it's nailed, and then yeah, then and then all of a sudden they're months. back again. So we'll have a quick look up here, Rick. And uh, it's interesting that this is part of the same extension where the initial problem started. You've got that That's wall that. there, so it's all kind of it's all kind of meshing together. But then we've got that built over manhole as well, and there's a gully from the kitchen you were saying wasn't you so it's going to be an interesting one because sometimes rats will actually link up from one side of the building to the other and they'll find a route that you didn't even know existed but that's how clever rats are this is really really interesting rick and this is another point of it it's something to do with the sewers and not just a nest of rats outside what we've got here is rodenticide that's been left down 
okay now if you're ever using ground bait what you should be doing is filling those trays up right to the top then you can tell if there's actually been some activity but if you're just putting if you've got a pest control and they come out and they just want to put poison down just get rid of them man just get rid of them because they're pointless you can go and do that you can go and buy that off our store you know go and do it and try it yourself why pay someone 300 quid for the privilege of doing that because it's not going to get to the root cause that's what we're going to do now the root cause of this some more evidence that it's going to be something to do with the drainage and the sewers the rats have been eating the poison now if they were from a family of rats all they would do is eat the poison doesn't matter what you put on your traps you wouldn't catch any it could be the most tempting thing in the world to these rats when they're non-related in other words they're coming from the sewer what will happen is sometimes the poison will go sometimes you'll catch them in traps sometimes a different poison will go a different flavor or a different bait will catch the rats and that's because they're unrelated and they're just coming out of the sewer straight into your house and look at this beast look what i spotted over there ricks <laughs> look you can see i'm nervous of going over to it because i'm shaking it's a huge it's a monster look at the size of that rick that's massive oh my god and this has been caught in the last week apparently Stephen was saying oh my god wow oh it's, that's gonna stink get it in the bag let's get the bag where's the bag it's under your feet oh. I can see the liquid coming out of it. That means it's going to reek. That's oh massive, God. that is. It looks like a, looks like a rabbit. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a hedgehog that's been skinned, that's been there, uh, had, had his spines taken off it. The good old black cats doing what they do. He's a lovely thing, isn't it? Well, that's yeah. pretty big. Oh. I'm, amazed. <laughs> I'm amazed that's not stinking us out, dude. I think it might. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I was about to say. That's there it is. I'm not breathing for that reason. I'll reset that just for the sake of it. Oh, you bastard. Oh. I might not reset it. <laughs> right, let's go and get our, get our cameras. I think it's a good job we brought two cameras with us today, Rick, because it's going to be a lot, of, a lot of surveying. Let's find out what the problem is. Let's come up with a solution and let's get Steve and his house back after five years of dealing with this hell. So this is another good example as well, because like someone's fitted a flap here, but the rats aren't getting in through here. So the flap's doing nothing, although it's actually working for once and someone's actually fitted it correctly. This flap is actually working, doing what it should be doing. Uh, if you do want a good flap though, use the proper flaps. Use the flaps that we use. We only use one flap. Honestly, if I see that bloody double flap one again, with all the sh teeth on the edges of it and two flaps in a row, oh i'm gonna do a video all about why not to use them to be honest with you but this one is actually doing what it does even though it's not one of our flaps there is no reason to fit it in the first place because it's done absolutely nothing and that's why when it was fitted it didn't make any difference because it was just hit and miss we think it's this it's a real head scratcher now come on rick let's get them other manholes up around the back sometimes even the pest interceptors are wrong and if we look on here look rick when i put the camera down you can see there's that big gap oh i have to lean that back there's a big gap there underneath the flap so we're looking at the flap going that direction to the main sewer especially if there's a bit of a drop there Rick when we go through this flap they could definitely be using that couldn't they? Whew. You got this on our camera as well? Yeah I got it because I can see a tree root sticking out of it whatever that hole is there's a four inch pipe going into the side of it. Do you want to pass me the camera? So this is supposed to be surface water. This ain't surface water. Because if I look down here, so this pipe here, I think, I hope that's picking that up. You can kind of see there's all poo and all there, up there, there's loads of gravel and stuff. So that's where we're looking. Woo. It's a bit echoey in here. So that's where we're looking. That's what Ricky was looking at just on the wall there. There's the head of the camera. There's the hole in the pipe. And you'll notice there's no gravel down that way. When we look down this way, if we can, oh, if I get my old bones down far enough, you can see there's loads of gravel down there. Right, and that's gone down, downstream to where the rats have been digging out that hole there but Rick have your camera back my friend 
I'm gonna push that camera a bit further down. You sound like you're in a cave. I feel like I'm in a freaking cave. So what you got there then, Rick? So I've just come up here thinking there's no way on this earth that the rats could have possibly have been getting in this hole. And as I was up here, I could smell a rat, rat urine and you know, the smell of rats. And I've looked carefully at that hole. It's awfully clean in that hole there. There's another hole there. And then I thought to myself, no, surely not, surely not. And then I could pull this out now because he said it's not attached to anything, I think. <laughs> Very certain about this, Steve. <laughs> so can you see all that? See there? Uh, oh yeah, a little scratch you marks. See all that along there? There you yeah, go. Yeah, you can see all the little scratch marks on that, look. Look, that's perfect. So you can see all those scratch marks there. That's where it's been scrabbling onto it, isn't it? To get into... So it's been going up the back of that. If you can point the camera in that hole right there. Wow. It's all connected though to that sewer. So if you just follow me now, Rick. The rats are in this extension here. So this extension here, that's where the, the rats are, all in that loft, under the floor there as well. But this here is where they live as well in this dry stone wall. So they're all inside of this. Now that hole that we found, we're always telling people that they don't climb up the guttering, up the spouts, water spouts and all the rest of it. But in very rare occasions, six times, this is the seventh time in 16 years of doing this. This is number seven. But it's still all linked to the sewers because that hole that we found in that main sewer pipe goes all the way along there, all the way along there, and it's the other side of that privet hedge, that, that uh, conifer hedge, and that pipe runs all the way along here, underneath here, and they're getting out on top of that pipe, into this wall, and then up there and into the house. But they might also be going from that pipe that runs somewhere underneath here, underneath this concrete uh, surface, and then under the floors and in, in, the, in the walls that way as well. This has been a hard one, dude. Another thing that I want to mention as well is the rodenticide that was being used. It's bromodiolone. A lot of the stuff that you'll buy online from Amazon and places like that, it'll be bromodiolone. In a lot of areas, it won't have any effect hardly at all. So you're kind of feeding the rats. So what we're going to do here, we're going to block all the holes up. Steve's got a load of traps up in there, black cat trap, rat traps, and you know how much we love those. And you saw how effective they are when we got here. Seems like yesterday, doesn't it? It was just this morning. Is there anything else? Don't use bromodile alone. Get some proper rodenticide if you're going to use it, but always use traps. So they all look the same, but you want the pest interceptors one, okay? Because, well, we'll show you once these are fitted, and you'll see the difference, how ours fits properly, sits right on the bottom of the pipe, and how this one wasn't. Okay, just, they look so similar, Trust us, they're not all the same. Here we get that one in there, Rick. I think <laughs> I'm gonna have to. <laughs> Seems like a, a million years since we was in South America, son. Oh, I've only been back for five days. <laughs> got we lost the, all our time. Got one of the hardest jobs we've had in a while. Oh. It was good on your fix it and trip it videos, though. If you're interested in cars, viewers of our channel, you might want to watch fix it and trip it. Uh, I'll put a little link here, up here somewhere, if you want to click on that and go and see Fix It and Trip It. If you want one of these wrap flaps, the only wrap flap that we use, you know where to go on our store. There'll be a link in the description and all that, and a little thing to click on the bottom of, of the video. As you can tell, me and Ricky are getting that tired on this one. I'm finding it hard to speak. Oh, the sky looks nice. Look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? Right opposite a pub. Ten minutes down that road in the middle of Peaks. Is that where it is? Yeah. Well, how's your view down there, Rick? Yeah. <laughs> is, is it nice? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, loads better. Loads better. Touching the bottom of the pipe. And that is how you do that. Woo! Nice two hour drive, and then Preston tomorrow. Let's see what we get up to tomorrow, then, Rick, eh? That sunset looks mad. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's beautiful. Right, good night. Good night.